right, so welcome back to the show, guys. Today, guys, I'm going to give you guys my quick Europa League group stage reaction. So remember, guys, like and subscribe. I know this will be a very quick reaction. Of course, we'll do a live stream, a hangout forum, and around 5 o'clock p.m. my time, Eastern Standard Time. So that's around, like, uh, I believe, like, six hours from now. So, you know, uh, we're going to go ahead and get started, of course. Let's start with the group stage, okay? So as you can see right here, guys, the first group we got here is West Ham United, Olympiacos, SC Fiber, TSC. Now, um, I'd say it's a very interesting group. I think it's a very clearly, there's a clear favor for which team should top. Now, I think a second place battle is interesting because I wouldn't count out TSC all that, you know, TSC could put up a good competitive fight. Um, and yeah, so I feel like this group is kind of straightforward for how this is going to finish. Obviously, I will not give my predictions here. Um, I think it's very straightforward, though. Group B. This is a good group. I love Group B. Ajax, Marseille. Brighton, Hove Albion, AK Athens. That's a very competitive group. I think this one's a very interesting group in that any of the four teams could honestly advance. Even AK Athens. I know many people are writing them off and saying, no, they're not going to do much in this group. You know, and I think this is interesting because it's going to be competitive. It's going to be difficult to call which team, you know, how this group is going to finish. And yeah, this is going to be a very competitive group. I love, I love Group B. Group C, we have Rangers, Real Batiste, Spar Prague. Eris Limazel, another group that's very competitive. I think this one will come down to the wire. And Eris Limazel, don't write them off. Like, what they did to get to this stage has been incredible. I think they, um, if I'm not mistaken, I think they beat um, Slovan Batisabli to get here. And that's a pretty big team. So, yeah, I just think it's going to be very interesting. And, of course, Sparrow Prague, they d defeated Dinamo Zagreb. So, I wouldn't sleep upon Sparrow Prague or Eris Limazel. Group D, we have Atalanta, Sporting, Storm Graz, Rocco. Now, I love the matchup Adelanta Sport. That's going to be a great matchup because we all know how good Adelanta is goal scoring wise. We know how good Sporting is as a collective. So, that's going to be a very interesting matchup. Group E. Okay, this is a tough group for Liverpool. Liverpool, LESK, Union St. Golos, and Toulouse. I mean, Union SG is going to be a good team. They're going to give Liverpool a good battle. LESK, I'm not sure about them. And Toulouse, they're a good team. Of course, they won the cup. So. This is going to be a difficult group for Liverpool. Now, Liverpool should still be fine. I still expect them to do well in the competition, but it won't be easy, per se. And if Liverpool dares drop down to the Conference League, we're going to have to have a scary conversation. Group F, we got Villarreal, Rennes, Maikaiba, Haifa. And then we have that Greece team, which I always butcher. So I'm just going to call them Paul from this point on. <laughs> That's a very good group. I love Group F. Group F is very competitive. Um... And it's going to be interesting because I think that second place battle is going to be very interesting. Like, I don't think it's as straightforward as people are making it out to be. So, yeah. And then Group G, we have Roma, Slavia, Prada, Sheriff, Sheriff, Sibyl, Sarebet. I mean, Roma should be comfortable with that group. That should be a doable group for them. And then Group H, we have Bayer Leverkusen, Korobet, Mull, and BK Hacken. So, so far, my favorite group of the eight, I would probably say, is probably Group E, I would probably say Liverpool's group is probably my favorite, and then I would probably say Group D is my second. So that's, that's my Europa League reaction. Give me your thoughts in the comments below, guys. Remember guys to like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.